Good afternoon and welcome to today's uh, Facebook Live demo by NetBees. Today we're talking about Persona. So what is Persona? Persona is an open source toolkit that is used to run network performance tests across different network domains. As we call it, it's uh, primarily an active network monitoring solution like NetBees that run real tests and uh, performance tests on the network. So this tool was originated in research and education institutions that uh, need to exchange every day um, large amount of data and where spotting uh, performance degradation issues uh, was very difficult because at the time, and this was 2001, um, you know, uh, hard failure, that is like when you have a fiber cut or a router goes down for some reason, those were pretty simple to detect with the traditional SNMP network monitoring solution, while soft failures like performance degradation issues such as packet loss or increasing latency and so on, anything that bottom line would uh, impair uh, or reduce uh, download and upload throughput or speed uh, um, was really, were really difficult at the time to detect. And that's why they started developing and collaborating into the development of Persona. Uh, so the four uh, original institutions are listed here, like Internet2, ESNet, Indiana University, and Jan. But since then, more institutions uh, start working and collaborating on Persona. So it's definitely a project worth uh, taking into consideration. Uh, the architecture, uh, Persona is installed on uh, an operating system, uh, Linux. So it can run on uh, Ubuntu, on Debian, Red Hat, and so on. And uh, it's very interesting uh, the way they develop the architecture of Persona. You can see it's organizing layers where at the bottom you see the tools layer. So here is where you find uh, throughput tests such as IPERF3, IPERF and NAT TCP. And then you have uh, uh, latency and packet loss tests such as PING or uh, OWAMP, which is a one-way uh, one delay measurement, measurement tool. And then they also have three types of trace route tests, such as the traditional trace route, trace path, and Paris trace route. So you can learn more about these tools in uh, by searching on Google. On the upper layer, there is uh, uh, the scheduling layer, uh, and that's the P scheduler. And the P scheduler is responsible for a scheduling task to be run periodically uh, on the network. But also the P-Scheduler is also a wrapper to uh, unify the execution and uh, the way that the underlying tools are executed. So they kind of unify the command line uh, options, bottom line. On the upper layer, you, you'll find the archiving ESMOND, which runs an hybrid type of database. Um, the data, real-time data uh, logged by the persona tests is uh, saved as a row on uh, in a R&D type of database and then you know it's displayed in graphs in the upper layer as you can see and then there is also uh, data uh, such as configuration settings that is saved on a SQL type of database so it's a really an hybrid architecture and the upper layer is uh, also in the med dash you can see in a grid format the tests that run between two endpoints or two persona uh, nodes and it's very similar to the NetBees uh, grid view, if you're familiar with that. Um, on the configuration side, mesh config is responsible for the configuration of the um, of the of the system, and then of course they are also like the GUI, the graphic user interface component. The last uh, uh, module we didn't talk about is the discovery. So the discovery or lookup service registration module is used to um, connect or basically uh, for two separate persona nodes to communicate and to run tests together. And they have different configuration types, uh, three um, more specifically. So I think one is like um, standalone mode, then there is a nylon mode, and then a, a mesh mode. Um, so again, there, if you want to read more about that, we wrote a blog post actually on netbiz.net slash blog, or you can just search for persona and um, the Persona website has plenty of and documentation that you can review. 
So from uh, an adoption, since 2001, uh, there are many uh, deployments of Persona. Uh, the public deployments, which are also listed in this website, whose URL you can see here at the bottom, uh, there are more than 2,000 public uh, servers. But for sure, the number of private installation is uh, much higher. Um, so I encourage you to check out this uh, um, tool. Uh, it's very useful. Um, and uh, thank you for taking the time to uh, learn more about Persona and uh, have a great weekend.